Ha. Hello and welcome to the 2016 presidential election. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. And you know that there's a lot of space over here. Uh, why isn't anyone standing on my side? It's because you suck. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> You're a loser. Anyway, today we have two candidates. Well, um, I mean, one qualified candidate, and then we have here someone who has to be treated like a small child on a sugar rush because he doesn't know when to shut up. He also doesn't know when to stop interrupting. No, no, wrong. Such a nasty woman, such a bad hombre. See what I mean? Anyway, today is November 8th, 2016, the day of the 2016 election. Wait, wait, is that what this event is about? I thought it was on the 28th. I thought the election was on the 28th. Oh, dang. As you can see, Trump doesn't even know when the presidential election is, and he's a presidential candidate. And the thing is, he can be president today, and I don't think anyone wants that. Wrong. Anyway, today all of America and even some other countries are tuned in to see who will be a President Obama's successor. And anyway, the popular vote polls are set to close in a couple of hours, and as soon as those poll numbers are accounted for, then it will be sent to the Electoral College and oh boy. Let's hope that they're all good enough to realize that there's only one eligible candidate. Anyway, now while we wait for the results of the popular vote and the Electoral College votes to come in, we will be speaking to the two candidates. Hello there, Hillary Clinton. How are you feeling about today's election? Why, hello there, Cheerum. Whoa, how'd you know my name? Well, you see, I care about the, well, American people so much that I took a couple of minutes to learn every single person's name in this already great country. Ugh, you're just the best, aren't you? Well, I do try my best. Anyway, I hope that today's results will return with good news because I know that we can't have a man like that. Oh my god, look at all those nasty women in the crowd running our country. Yep, that is true. And Cheerum, just the thought of him going near the nuclear codes it's a very scary situation since he can't even control what he says a lot of times. Let's ban Muslims. In fact, let's ban everybody. In fact, everyone get out. This is my country. I live here. Bye. Yeah, I, I can I can see that 100%. And the fact that he wants to make very important decisions for women's bodies even though he has himself demeaned women and he made such rude comments saying that just because he's famous he can do whatever he wants to them sexually. It's absurd how that man can even be this far in the race. Aw, you're all little girls. But you're not Ivanka. Yes, yes, this is all true. Thank you for talking to us. Any final words before the results come in? Yes, of course. Thank you to all my supporters who have voted and fought for me and my campaign. Thank you all so much for everything and thank you for believing in me and thank you for believing in a better life. Just thank you all so much. Anyway, I better get going. Thank you so much for interviewing me. I love y'all. Woo! Uh, she's such an amazing woman running for president. Nasty woman. Well... Now I'm here with Trump. Hello, Mr. Trump, who's running for president. I mean, uh, how do you feel about this election? I want my daughter. <laughs> well, you can see where his priorities are. Anyway, I just got the word that the popular vote results are in, and oh my, oh my God, wow, how, what? Well, as you can see. The results are so close, but how can this actually be? How did Trump score so close to Clinton? What is this? Well, I guess you just have to respect people's decisions, but really, if you're a Trump supporter, what are you actually thinking? Anyway, let's pan to see how the two presidential candidates are doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you girls are so beautiful, and everyone supporting me, oh, you're all just very beautiful. I'm so happy that I get to be fighting for basic human rights. I feel like everyone should have them, and well, let's just get on with the LGBT. LGBTQ rights. Those are also really important and this man wants to remove them? I mean, we've gotten so far in our country. How do you want to take that back? I mean, let's just continue moving forward as a country and evolving to a better country, you know? Even though we already are one, we should have expectations and goals for each of us to, you know, better this country. Wow, she is such an amazing person. Anyway, let's look at Trump. Hey, Dad, I was like wondering, you know, how I'm Ivanka and like, why'd you give me that name? Because I love you. <laughs> Dad, stop! It's what you did to the other women. Yeah, but even worse. Well, I did it to the other women worse because I'm Donald Trump and I suck. Also, I hate all Hispanics and I want to marry a wall. And my daughter. I know how I said I wanted to marry my daughter, but I, I also hate women. Except for my daughter. He's just a creepy dude in general. Anyway, the electoral college vote should be coming in pretty soon. And the new president of the United States is...